Here we go again. Heavy rain, strong winds and coastal flooding are possible. You can see the timing this evening into tomorrow. We could see up to two more inches of rain and more water into the streets along our already saturated South Shore. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jasmine Anderson. This new storm comes as thousands scramble to recover from the last storm earlier this week. You can see the beach erosion here on Fire Island and some areas are still flooded. The storm opened two new breaches on the barrier island. You watch and you feel it. Your house rocks and rolls and you feel it, you know, but after 50, 45, 50 years, it's the same old thing. You know, worrying about what's going to happen to your neighbors. Governor Hochul sent a letter to the Army Corps of Engineers urging them to help. She also directed state agencies to work with Suffolk County to determine if it qualifies for federal aid. For the latest on the storm recovery and the new storm headed our way, go to Newsday.com, click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. For the third year in a row, school property taxes will be capped at 2%. The cap comes from a state law that limits school tax hikes to 2% or the current inflation rate, whichever is lower. Inflation currently sits at 3.4%. Feeling the squeeze, six in 10 Long Islanders say paying for food and housing are top concerns. A new Siena College poll found nearly 65% of Long Islanders say the price of groceries and housing, including high taxes, is a very serious or somewhat serious issue. 51% said the cost of gas was already a serious concern. To see our special series, Feeling the Squeeze, the Cost of Living Crisis on Long Island, go to Newsday.com, click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. Long Islanders who need to take paid family leave are getting a boost. The state increased the weekly maximum payout by over $20 compared to last year. New hope for veterans affected by toxic exposures. Northwell Health is starting a three-year study to improve the screening process for exposure to burn pits by veterans overseas. They are looking to better understand how long-term respiratory disease develops. Participants in the study will wear a device that records real-time health data. Unconsciously or not knowingly, um, your service uh, can bring you to places where um, you can get exposed uh, to um, dangerous conditions as well as dangerous situations. So at the very moment, you don't really think about the negative effects that this exposure can bring to your life uh, post-service. Veterans who suffer from the effects of burn pit exposure can get benefits through the 2022 PAC Act. Only a Newsday, the Green Acres Mall is getting a facelift. The Valley Stream Complex is adding a ShopRite supermarket, outside dining, and a new streetscape. The project will need approval from Hempstead Town. We'll also see the demolition of the former Sears building. Newsday Sports is brought to you by King O'Rourke Automotive Group. Headed into the second half of the season, the Islanders are dealing with injuries to some key players. Andrew Gross has more. Points have been somewhat hard to come by for the Islanders as they've gone through a 4-5-3 and three stretch dating back to December 15th. And now, as they soon embark on another four-game road trip, the Islanders receive some more bad injury news on Thursday as the team announced spark plug fourth line center Casey Sezikis would be out week to week with a lower body injury. He's, you know, a big part of the group. Uh, his motor's always running. Uh, so uh, guys are going to have to replace him somehow. And uh, certainly we have the ability to do that. Uh, you know, it affects a couple of different areas for us. But as we've done and, and will continue to do with our defensemen or whoever else is out, uh, next man up mentality. The Islanders had been getting healthier with Scott Mayfield and then Adam Pellick both returning to the back end defensively. However, the Islanders are still without goalie Semyon Varlamov, who's on injured reserve with a lower body injury, and that has put the burden and the whole workload on franchise goalie Ilya Sorokin. For Newsday TV, I'm Andrew Gross. Read more about the Islanders on Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. Marcus Stroman is coming back home again, but this time he'll be in pinstripes. A source tells Newsday the Medford product and former Mets starter agreed to a two-year $37 million deal with the Yankees. Checking out your hyperlocal Friday forecast, we have an eye on the storm here. Heavy rain on the way. The National Weather Service has issued coastal flood and wind advisories 
For today, sun and clouds, highs around 45 degrees before the rain starts this evening. Tomorrow, morning rain and winds, highs in the 50s. A look at your seven day forecast. Long Island weather is brought to you by Home Tax Saver, PTRC Incorporated. Twins are making history at Herrick's High School, becoming valedictorian and salutatorian. Virginia Huey has a story you'll see only in Newsday. At Herrick's High School in New Hyde Park, Devin Lee and his twin brother Dylan Lee are celebrating a notable achievement. Devin has been named valedictorian for the class of 2024. It was just like really surprising. There was like a lot of emotion. And Dylan, who is younger by 10 seconds, is salutatorian. The Lee brothers are the first set of twins to achieve Val and Sal status in the 211 year history of the Herricks Union Free School District. It means a lot to me knowing that this is like such a competitive district and um, there are such like high standards here. Theirs is a success story born of brotherly love. Ever since they came into the world on July 23rd, 2006, Devin and Dylan have been inseparable. They've shared reading and math lessons as toddlers. As teens, they excel in academics, volleyball, and music. The ambitious 17-year-old twins credit their double success in part to a friendly sibling rivalry. I feel like we both push each other a lot to be better. Like we know when the other one of us is not like working as hard or needs to, what, what one of us needs to brush up on or study a little more. So we, it, we kind of hold each other accountable. Devin and Dylan say they were also inspired by their older sister, Jalen Lee, who was Herrick's High School's valedictorian last year. Definitely proud, definitely proud. Their parents, Paul and Cecilia Lee, couldn't be prouder. It's pretty surreal. It's nothing that we had ever, you know, gone into with a plan um, that you guys are going to do this, this and this. It was choose classes that you're interested in and uh, try your best. And now, after 17 years of doing everything together, the Lee twins are going to lead separate lives for the first time when they head to college in the fall. Devin has been accepted to Cornell, and Dylan is heading to Yale. It'll be a new experience, but I'm, I look forward to it. The twins' historic graduation is set for June 25th. In New Hyde Park, I'm Virginia Huey for Newsday TV. Congratulations to the Lee Twins. Read more about this story on Newsday.com. Just click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. Feed Me is brought to you by PC Richard and Son. Dumpling Lovers, one of Newsday's top 100 restaurants, is offering a new feast menu. Erica Marcus has today's Feed Me TV. Most days I love my job, but some days I really love my job, and today is one of those days. I'm at O Mandarin in Hicksville, and I am sampling their winter dumpling feast. Ooh, these are just exquisite. These are the celery pork dumplings. Fabulous. These are pink peacock dumplings, and they're filled with chicken, mushroom, and truffles. Lobster and fish dumpling in the shape of a fish with these big green pea eyes. Mm really delicious. Now, because I am a professional food journalist, I'm going to have this entire feast to myself. If you want to enjoy it, you'll need to gather at least four people. The dumplings is about the um, family, it's about the food culture. We want to let everybody taste of our culture. Oh, this is incredible. What they've done is they've formed this dumpling skin to look like a cabbage leaf. I mean, what artistry. Oh my God, they're little frogs. Hop over here. <laughs> Plop, 
blop, blop. These are mala pork and mushroom. This also has a little kick of chili oil to go along with the Szechuan peppercorn. At home, it's more of we're making the doughs. It's the process. Uh, we laugh, and we, we, we see the, the powder of the flowers, we see the smile faces. But when we go out to a restaurant, uh, we normally eat in different delicates, different shapes. Oh my God, look at these penguins. I mean, I really hate to eat this guy, but uh, as I said, I'm a professional. The level of artistry and finesse, and yet everything tastes fantastic. You know, it's just a testament to what Chinese cuisine is capable of. Well, that's another good dumpling. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, now I, I could use some help. <laughs> Very creative. For more on the dumplings, go to Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. information about communities is lost if you don't have local reporters and if there's no one reporting how do you know what's going on in your community newsday covering long island like no one else can i'm jasmine anderson thank you so much for watching well i'll leave you with a look at your hyperlocal seven-day forecast